I have about three hours of mow time since I installed the 2x60 saber tooth. I spent a lot of that time trying to fine tune the Flysky transmitter so that the mower responds really nice to the joystick controls. At 100% stock setting, it was just too fast, too quirky, turned too quick, hard, hard to control. So after a, a lot of experimentation, I finally settled on uh, something different. Most RC transmitters have this thing called a dual rate mode. <clears throat> In dual rate, you have a switch that controls multiple channels and two output modes. I set the transmitter up to run in dual rate, the high rate, 25%, and the low rate, 10%. At 25%, it mowed really nice. I had full range of joystick, and uh, it wasn't too fast. and still climbed everything I, I challenged it with. And the 10%, it was really nice. You had extremely slow control of the mower when you're trying to maneuver it into something that uh, you're just afraid that uh, if you had a full power joystick, you might run it off into something. So let me show you how to set that. I set that up. My previous videos, I mentioned that switch A was set to power the contactor for the 2x60 and the uh, relay for uh, the 2x32. I need switch A for the dual rate function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I assign it to switch B. Uh, by the way, uh, switch A is currently assigned to channel 6. Channel 6 is the one that uh, powers the let talk for the relay. Let's get into menu mode. I'm going to use the system. I'm going to scroll down until we find the auxiliary switches. We're going to select that. We need to make sure that switch A is on and switch B is on. Also, we need to have channel 6 uh, visible. So that's fine. I've already set that. I'll cancel out. Cancel out. Next thing we have to do is we have to go over to the setup menu. I'm going to go into setup. I'm going to go down to auxiliary channels. I'm going to select it. If you see right now on the bottom, channel 6 is currently not assigned to anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign it to switch B. And now switch B controls the contactor. To verify that switch B is controlling channel 6, we're going to go up to the display. And switch six, channel six rather, switch on, switch off. So that one is set. Well, let's go take a look at how, what we've got to do to get switch A assigned to the dual rate mode. Next, we need to scroll down to the assign switches, select it. We need to make sure that the fly mode is on. In order to do that, we take and hit switch A normal. And I'm going to save that. In order to test that, we've got to make sure we have the dual rate set up. So I'm going to go into the dual rate exponentiation submenu. And the dual rate has a two modes here. When you flip switch A, it goes from normal mode to sport mode. So for the normal mode, I have it set to the 10% <clears throat> with no exponentiation. And I have the sport mode set to 25% no exp uh, exponentiation. Channel 2 is the same way, so I'm not going to demonstrate it. Let's look at a graphical display of the dual rate mode for channel one and two. What I'm going to do is go up to display. I'm going to select it and I'm going to move the joystick 
I currently have it in the position for the 10% mode. I'm going to switch it down to the 25% mode. So everything looks good. I have tested this and I think this is a combination I'm going to stay with for a while. If you have any uh, suggestions on what I might do to improve this, I'm always op open to, to comments. So please let me know if you figure out anything better than what I'm doing. Uh, I appreciate you watching it.